Okay, um, we're gonna have a 24 inch metro shelf that'll cut our current dining table, which I made a few years ago with a butcher block I got off of Craigslist. So I'll cut that down to 24 inches and then we'll have a metro shelf with a butcher block counter top at the same height as the stainless steel table. And that'll be our um, second kitchen workspace. block for this countertop didn't go quite as well as I had hoped. The cross cut on the end was fine but the rip cut has been really tricky and so I'm gonna get a different blade and try it again another day. So I was using a blade with 40 teeth um, which I guess technically is a cross cut blade and so I'm gonna get a blade with fewer teeth and maybe that'll help. big pegboard I've got my little pegboard now I can put my shelves in next to it and then once the countertop is back in place I'll mount my magnetic knife rack off the counter because I want to be able to fit my stand mixer and my blender right underneath it. Also I marked I marked all my studs before I put the sheetrock on so now I know where they are. These are the braces I got. Um, I'm not going to use the screws that came with them because um, they look really dinky and they're for drywall anchors. Um, and I'm going to mount this into studs so that I won't have to worry about my kitchen shelving come crashing down. This is going to be a longer process than I had thought.
so excited about these shells. I love them so much already. Since these are flooring and they overlap a little bit um, even though I couldn't get this back piece screwed down the way that I wanted the front piece has a lip that kind of like holds it in place so now I just gotta do the top shelf then I'm done